Welcome to this Zentangle Quickie. My name is Heather Hartwick Gladden. I'm a certified Zentangle teacher. And today we're going to take a look at the Tangle B Light from Zentangle. So this is a grid pattern. And let's see, I think I'm just, I, we're going to go from edge to edge. And I'm using a um, two inch by two inch bijou tool. I'm going to make this kind of on the big side. Well, that's interesting. <laughs> and uh, we'll make that there. That, that top one is going to be fun. Okay. And I am playing with the concept of not worrying about having a straight grid, which is kind of freeing. But at the same time, usually, I, you know, it's like, oh, I like it, to, like it to be kind of, you know, straight. You know, it's fun to play around. All right. So this one starts after you get your grid set. Um, and, you know, and this one is more of a, a grid, um, like a diamond grid, like so, than it being a straight grid like that. So what we're going to do is in one of the corners, although, you know, I mean, if you drew it as a straight grid, it's, it's all going to work out the same anyway. Um we're going to put a curved line in the right corner of each of the little boxes and you can you can decide how far I'm gonna say um, you know from you know say a quarter of the way up to a maybe a third of the way up is good you know in, into this line is what I'm meaning and some of these on the uh, edges I gotta make up and figure out what am I doing well this one's just gonna be colored in and then after you have those set we are going to uh, fill those in and let me see if I was smart enough well not really but here's a 10 <laughs> smart enough to bring uh, uh, I had my stuff in a different location and I didn't grab my graphic one which is a very nice uh, pen for filling in so I grab the 10 it will work just fine what I like to do when I'm filling in is uh, I usually try to trace around the edge so that way I don't uh, accidentally go over and because these are thicker you don't get that um, although this one isn't too bad here or maybe because I've already drawn the the grid with the fine line with the O1 you know, I don't get that, uh, the sharp edge, but I think because I'm just filling in, it is not, uh, it's not wrecking that, we'll just say. That's one of the things, that, and that's just me personally, that's one of the things that I look out for and make sure that I uh, maintain is uh, these nice crisp edges where I have them. And let's see, now these ones here are just going to be strictly fill in because that curve is going to cover, let's see this one here too, alright just a couple more or I was going to um, pause so that way you're not uh, suffering through this watching me fill these in, although I hope that you're tangling right along with me at the same time. All right. And then you'll see if you end up with partials, you can decide, well, would I have a little bit of it coming out, you know, like here? We'll just say that that one is. But that's one of those, that's one of the fun things uh, to figure out. Oop, and this one I decided I was going to have a little bit of a partial, and I think that's it. Okay. So then the next step, now, um, and actually let me clarify something. Uh, in my step out... I have uh, inserted a technique, um, mostly because they had that in my Zenthology, so I'm like, well, yeah, let's go with it. So the technique is called a sparkle, and um, what we're essentially going to be doing is auraing these. If you've done the Tangle Crescent Moon, it's, you know, real similar to that. I mean, if you just pretended, oh, these are, you know, bumps, you know, all along your uh, string line, it's the same idea. So we're going to aura, but a sparkle is just leaving a little gap, like so, and then leaving another gap. You kind of, you know, around the same area. You could do a couple 
if you want. I mean, a, a larger gap, you could do a, uh, you can have it go out this way longer is what I was meaning to say. But we're essentially, we're going to just aura. And I just had it come out a couple. You don't have to do that step. Um, it's fine. But if you want to, it kind of has a neat effect. You know, so you could do something like this, where if I just like put a little dot in the middle, and then at some point you just decide, okay, I'm done. And then we just, you know, aura. I mean, you could go out um, many rounds if you want to. All right, we'll do we'll we'll do this a couple other times, and then and I will. And you know what? I will. Uh, I will. We'll do some of my end stuff now. That is, if I can talk and tangle at the same time. <laughs> we shall see. Um, so this is this is just a, it is a neat tangle. Um, in the description section, you will find this step out, and I I'm gonna look and see if uh, I don't know if this was ever published on a Zentangle blog. It might not have been. So um, if I if I find that, I will put that in the For More Inspiration section. Uh, but you will find th uh, this step out. And let's see. Now here I'm not going to do it because it would be more up here. Although if I stay a little bit away from the edge, that could suffice as the, uh, the sparkle. Um... see okay and let's see what else do I usually say at the end I usually say well I'm, I'm, I'm gonna wait to the end to see hopefully that you like this and will give give me a you know a thumbs up and all of that so I'll wait till the end for that um, but if you are enjoying Zentangle and enjoying this video so far I do do a um, series of, uh, of classes both uh, paid and and free so I do have that combination in that description section also is a link to my website, to the Facebook group that we have. And, um, and would love to have you join if you're, if you're having fun tangling and you're, or if you just want to, you know, just give it a try. That's why I do the free ones on Thursday. Um, and we take a tangle or two and, um, and explore them and have fun. And there's no expectations if you, if you don't have, uh, you know, uh, Zentangle equipment, that's okay. Um, I do have a link on my site if you want to support my efforts, um, you know, say so both in, in these videos. And if, if you have, you know, come to some of the classes. Ooh, let's see, this one's interesting. Well, I think this is going to be just curves. Oops. You know, and the trick on these two is to not go into the box. Um before or after that is that is my worst trouble with this um but anyway so what i was saying don't worry about if you don't have uh feel like you have materials i have people working in sketchbooks um just <laughs> scrap pieces of paper it doesn't matter um the objective is to kind of um you know help people uh get the word out about this fun art form and fun way if you're using it to say for you know a meditative uh resource or exercise or mindfulness exercise um, but just gets the the word out like I said and uh, and we have fun and we explore different tangles whatever I think that we can kind of get done in an hour's time so um, so yeah so we'd love to have you join and as I mentioned that all that information is in the links in the description section okay so we're just about done here and Let's see, this is going to be, yes, curves also. Like I said, some of these partials, you just have to think, okay, here's the bigger, here's the bigger um, picture, and here's what I would be doing. And sometimes you just kind of got to go, okay, this is what I'm going to do, and it's going to look beautiful. <laughs> so there we are. All right, now, next. Um, of course, there are a ton of ways to shade. Here's, here's one, and it's a little bit different than I would normally do. A lot of times on a grid, I would, you know, just, you know, uh, put... Uh, put graphite on, you know, following the grid line and just go with that. This one I'm just going to do, yeah, I'm going underneath. So just looking at it this way where the, um, you know, on the right 
side of the die so looking at it as a diamond and so I'm going underneath all of those the filled in corner and that's just that's where I'm gonna leave it is just with that and um, and we'll see what that oops missed the one at the top because my finger was there um, also want to mention uh, in my step out I did put a couple variations that uh, uh, on there um, those are those are actually from Zentangle they had put those in uh, my Zenthology and I thought oh well those are neat so um, so do take a look at those and I sometimes I think it's neat just to play around a little bit with the shading and see that it just creates a really neat look and just putting it on the one side um, versus you know say on both sides it just it has a whole it has a neat effect you, I mean you could go down this side if you wanted to as well but sometimes it's just fun to I don't know I usually do that, so I'm just going to leave it at this because I think it looks kind of neat that way. Um, so anyway, if you enjoyed this video, and I hope you did, would love to have a thumbs up uh, and, and feel free to share. So if you have, you know, if you have people that uh, maybe, you know, they see uh, stuff like this and, oh, I wish I could do it, um, please share. Because my, my mission in all of this is uh, because I'm not an artist, but I can do this. And I am completely always fascinated about uh, with, you know, what can come out of my hands just by following uh, these directions. Um, so please uh, feel free to share it uh, with people um, like that. And uh, would love to, to kind of prove to them that they can they too can can do this and it's and it's really fun conquer art class that's what I felt like I did after after doing this for a little bit I'm like wow this I, you know it's like oh it, it, it was a weird uh kind of freeing feeling um that I didn't know that that continued to bother me um and and bother is probably the wrong word but uh affect me kind of subconsciously so it was interesting anyway um, so we'd love to have a thumbs up if you like this enough to uh, see more and you haven't subscribed yet. We'd love to have you as a subscriber. Uh, just click that button and then also click the bell next to it so that way you can tell YouTube how you want to be notified if you want to be notified at all. And um, with that, I want to thank you so much for watching and uh, feel free to leave in any comments um, uh, in the comment box because uh, I love to hear from everyone. Um, and I think that's it. Thanks so much again for watching. Happy tangling.